paranormal and the supernatural realm. How should the average person react to claims of apparitions visiting Earth? They're unexplainable, yet millions of believers lend credence to the possibility that something is happening. Recent appearances of Mary have been reported in nearly every habitable nation. Are these events legitimate? Is God sending us a message? However you answer, one thing is certain. The apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary draw millions to every corner of the globe. Around the world, reports of supernatural events are drawing millions to apparition sites where the Virgin Mary is said to be appearing. Thousands of visionaries from every conceivable background describe a beautiful young woman glowing in radiant splendor. Her hair is going up. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's real big. Yeah, she's big. She's just standing there. It just paralyzed us. It was so impressive. She emanated an incredible light. It was as if I had entered into another world. There was such silence. She appears as a living, breathing, three-dimensional lady, enveloped in exquisite light. Sears, when describing her, admit that the Queen of Heaven transcends human description. Millions flock to apparition sites, hoping to encounter the Blessed Virgin Mary. Consider that 15 to 20 million Marian followers visit a single shrine in Guadalupe, Mexico every single year. The shrine is dedicated to Our Lady of Guadalupe, who appeared in 1531 to Seer Juan Diego. Many of the pilgrims claim miracles are still occurring in Guadalupe today, the result of Mary's continued presence. In war-torn Bosnia, an estimated 30 million pilgrims have visited Majugori since the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary began in 1981. Besides the six visionaries who regularly receive messages from the Virgin, thousands of pilgrims claim to see signs and wonders experience healing and hear the voice of Mary at Majugori. In Conyers, Georgia, seer Nancy Fowler has received up to 100,000 visitors to her farm on a single day. The pilgrims come from all over, many traveling great distances to hear the Virgin's most recent message. Do I ask of you? is to trust me. Tell my children, I am alive. Many followers believe the Blessed Mother is present. Currently, she is appearing all over the world, hundreds of times. There, there are many visionaries. Nancy is one of the links. And uh, the time is running out, and Our Lady said that she is stopping in everywhere. Definitely believe something's going on. And for all those who believe, they may now have the proof they need to convince others. Two scientists from Columbia came to the farm yesterday to study Fowler, and they say she is definitely seeing something when she goes into her trances. It has a brain activity that looks and seems to be like coma, but she is awake and fully responsive. Conyers, Georgia, is not unique. Apparitions from almost every state in America are being reported. From New York to California, visitations from a supernatural lady 
identifying herself as Mary, the mother of Jesus, have been documented. Nor is this phenomenon unique to America. She is appearing everywhere. In 1997, Newsweek ran a cover story on Mary's growing popularity. The article states, In many ways, the 20th century has belonged to Mary. From almost every continent, visionaries have reported more than 400 apparitions of the Virgin, more than in the previous three centuries combined. Taken together, these visions point to what the Marian movement believes is a millennial age of Mary. In Lourdes, France, the site of the apparition of Mary that proclaimed herself the Immaculate Conception, five and one-half million pilgrims descend upon the Virgin's shrine annually. Pilgrims come to adore Mary and drink from the miraculous spring. Many reported healings have been documented. The devotion to the Blessed Mother at Lourdes and around the world is remarkable. Poland's Marian shrine our Lady of Yasnagora draws an estimated five million pilgrims a year. Known as the Black Madonna of Poland, she is considered the Queen of Poland by Pope John Paul and the faithful. Kashmir the Great, he, he declared Our Lady Queen of Poland. Very unusual. Father Simon Stefanowicz explains Mary's importance to the people of Poland and her abiding presence at Jasna Gora. Devotion is very strong and very widespread. Constant revelation and constant apparition of Mary through this answering the prayers and the trust to God through Mary. This I could say. Certainly, the Marian movement has international scope. In Knock, Ireland, a single apparition site has drawn millions who come to pray and visit the apparition gable. This Marian shrine has been honored by four popes this century, including Pope John Paul II, who went on pilgrimage to Knock in 1979, and Mother Teresa, who visited the apparition site in 1993. Researchers and experts acknowledge that apparitions are occurring worldwide. Over the past several years, as I've traveled to many different countries around the world, I've made some observations that apparitions of Mary are appearing or have appeared almost everywhere. One of the observations that I've made is that when apparitions are being made, there are supernatural phenomena that are associated with them, including healings, signs and wonders, and as people call them, miracles. And there's no question whatsoever in my mind that these things are credible, that they are happening. I think without doubt, millions of people are claiming that they are seeing visions of Mary. I think it's interesting that in the last 150 years, as the devotion to Mary has increased through the proclamation of the Immaculate Conception and the Assumption of Mary, and more prayer is being directed to Mary, I'm not surprised that these apparitions are appearing. The following of Mary today is becoming worldwide. I, I believe that it is going not only to become greater in America, uh, but uh, already in South America and Central America, because that's where I've been so many times. It, it's huge. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you don't believe in, in Mary, you know, you're like a cast off. The apparitions of uh, uh, Virgin Mary are supernatural. There's no doubt. Uh, beginning in uh, Medjugorje, it's spreading all around the Croatia. And uh, people are devoted to Mary because it is a supernatural power. Unlike other alleged paranormal activities, evidence indicates that the apparitions of the Virgin Mary are of a supernatural origin and that her motives are pure. 
her frequent messages to pray, turn to God, and work toward peace indicate a benevolent agenda. Also, the good fruits attributed to her appearances cannot be overstated. Many individuals claim that they have drawn closer to God since their encounter with the Virgin. Others testify to the many signs and wonders as evidence that God has sent Mary in these last days. It's just so much bigger than it actually is just because of the, the miracles that have taken place here. I mean, there's crutches in the corner and people have been healed here. As you can see, like, from, uh, like, the, the hands and, like, up here, and it, it soaked the inside. This was, like, uh, full of oil. They have, like, cups and stuff. Nice. It's exuding oil by itself? Yeah, it's, uh, this is uh, something that's common in Egypt. This happens a lot, and they're used to it. It's really not unusual. It's just unusual that it happened here in America. There's a chance for, for people to see that there is a miracle here and try to get them to, to, to believe in, in something that... My, a lot of people might not believe in just hearing about it. They say God works in mysterious ways. I saw the Virgin. She came out of the clouds, you know, and I saw her. I saw the, uh, the seal of water. I saw the Virgin Mary wearing a crown of gold. <laughs> Mary had turned her silver into gold. This was all sterling silver. The beads and the crucifix, everything is gold. I touched my rosary to the cross hanging outside the home and it actually turned from silver to gold. And the silent young man himself produces one picture after another of the Mother Mary, along with statuettes, all with liquid coming from the eyes. What do you believe is on that cotton wool? Mary's tears. Tears of Mary. Is it, I mean, physically, what do you believe it is? The tears of Mary. Tears of Mary. You don't think it's scented oil? No. no. It's impossible. This oil is flowing. It cannot be scented oil. Look at it. It's flowing. It's coming from nowhere, from the eyes. Go, go take a picture behind it. You called it oil. Yeah, it's oil. It's, it's oil, and the meaning of that is anointing the sick. In addition to supernatural signs, numerous bona fide healings have been recorded. David Parks was healed of terminal cancer while on pilgrimage to Majugori. Well, I went out to Medjugorje uh, spiritually bankrupt. I went out uh, with just a few weeks to live. I had a serious illness for 12 years and had 10 major surgeries. And after the last surgery, I was told I had weeks to live. I went out and uh, that's where I found our Blessed Mother. That's where I found uh, she came. I received a great physical healing, but most important of all, a spiritual healing. And my whole life has been transformed because of the messages of Our Lady, because she all he asks to do is pray, pray and pray. All signs point to monumental activity in the supernatural realm. Does the Bible anticipate these end time events? What role will the apparitions of Mary play in the days ahead? I believe Mary will usher in global peace and unity. She is the key. She has said that her immaculate heart will triumph. And it will, and I believe it's very soon. But she did say that in the end her immaculate heart will triumph and there will be a time of peace. And um, so it's definitely, um, if we follow Our Lady's request, that's praying the rosary every day, for the world to be consecrated to her Immaculate Heart and for us to do the, the, the devotions of the first five Saturdays, then Our Lady said that in the end her Immaculate Heart would triumph and there will be peace and a time of, of, of goodness and peace in the world. Mother Mary's apparitions are appearing more, much more frequently today than they did in the past uh, because uh, from what we see through this theological lens, it's approaching the eschatological times, the end times, uh, very nearly now. The evil is so intense that in history, whenever it seems like it reached an impossible place for us, then God steps in. And he steps in with Mary as the commander in chief of all the, the forces that she's grown to love. Do you see how these people love her in this Marian conference? 